Rooftop gardens and farms play an incredibly important role in biodiversity. Anytime you create a green space, you're creating an available habitat for any insects and animals that happen to live in the area. And not only that, but it's, it's little by little restoring what was lost when a city was built. So when you put a building in place, you remove the soil. If you take that concept, not the exact same soil, but a manufactured media, and you put it on a rooftop and create that green space again, you can welcome back everything that was lost when the architecture was designed. And one thing that's very exciting, I'm a vegetable farmer, so the food that I grow is something that I share with people. And it's not always there for animals and insects, it's there for people. But we can also, within the vegetables we're growing, create spaces where we use wildflowers and native plants and other things that are helpful also for the animals and insects and not just the people in our neighborhood. I would love to envision a future in which rooftop farms are as common as ground level spaces and that every building that can host a rooftop farm has one. The difficulty I think we have now is that not all buildings are designed to support the weight and uh, not all of them have the access that's legal for letting people on a roof to start a rooftop farm. But some of the most forward-thinking cities that I know of are places that, as they're letting people build new buildings, they are creating an infrastructure that supports things like green roofs. And I love seeing when people take an older building and are able to create a space that's safe and legal and accessible to put on a container garden or a greenhouse structure. There are different types of rooftop gardens and farms that you can build no matter what type of city you live in, whether you have a lot of rain or a little rain, whether your city is very hot or that has a long winter, there's always an option for someone because agriculture is um, one idea, but so is putting up some kind of green space with native plants. And all of these pieces can fit together to create cities that are more sustainable.